much. <laughs> you know, I've heard it's, if I tell you, don't do this, don't do that, don't do, and that saying don't, don't, don't really empowers you to do, do, do. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you about how to be a Grinch, and surely you won't want to be one this Christmas. So glad you're joining us. This is going to be a fun show. You know, God is really such an ultimate giver, and that's the opposite of the Grinch, that really we'll just be showcasing today the character, the nature of God, how overcoming he is, even in this Christmas season. We don't have to be selfish about anything because God has given us everything that we would need through Jesus Christ. This show is going to empower you and kick that Grinch right out the door. <laughs> Glad you're logging on with us today. Go ahead, hit that share button. This is going to be fun. We've got a Christmas tree contest. You've sent me your trees in and they are beautiful. I can't wait to show them off. Uh, I'm glad you're with us. And guess who's in the house with me? Pastor Jay. Hey, the same guest as last week. <laughs> and the week before. <laughs> and the week before. <laughs> we were saying, um, you know, Jay's like, really, what is the psychological term for, you know, the Grinch? What, what does that mean? And I was like, it's selfishness. It's being a victim. And then uh, I asked him, I said, will you turn on your do not disturb on your phone? Because it disturbs me. <laughs> I was like, that's will you turn your do not disturb me on your phone, please? <laughs> I'm trying to sleep tonight. I don't. <laughs> Amy doesn't like it. You know, we're pastors. So uh, we have night owls that sure. message us at night. And then we have morning people that mm -hmm. message us in the morning. Yeah, the night owls are late, like 1 a.m. Oh, You'll yeah. You'll have Jay's phone still buzzing. And then the, and then the you know, we have then several. Then you have 6 a.m. Oh, or before people yeah. that get up. I have 6 a.m.ers. Yeah, so, so you, they don't realize you have both in your life. Uh-huh. And so yours so, goes off at 1 a.m., yeah. mine goes off at 6 a.m. <laughs> so Amy, Amy wants me on the do not said, disturb. <laughs> Put your phone on do not disturb. So it doesn't disturb. It actually doesn't wake me up. The vibration doesn't wake me up. It wakes her up. Yeah, I'm and a light so sleeper. I'm not a light sleeper. I need to stop saying I'm a light sleeper. Maybe in 2023, I'll receive the deep sleep. You know, the other, the other day, you said the other night that you uh, couldn't sleep and you, and you watched a, a full movie. Like or to yeah, for yeah. or a documentary or yeah, something. Yeah, it was a documentary. And on and the royal uh, family. and you went to sleep at four thirty in the morning, and I was in the same bed. I was oblivious. I had not oblivious. never woke up one time. I'm watching the show. Yeah, <laughs> not one time. Didn't <laughs> slept right through that. My lamps <clears throat> on, everything. No, no. oblivious, out, gone. <laughs> in, oh, that's wonderful. In jailing, that yeah. is sweet sleep, hun. One, oh one wow, Wilma's on. Wilma. Hi, Wilma. Good to see you. You know, Wilma was part of the crew that made my birthday. Birthday so special on Sunday. I mean, Faith Church, I've never been so honored, loved. I mean, I was treated like a queen, had my own table out there, big birthday cake, tons of presents. I'm still carrying in presents, unwrapping bags at oh, home. Oh, how nice. I'm so thankful. I mean, Wilma, Janet, um, Erica, Norma, Shanna, yeah. they're all out there, like, you know, just really, really helping me. Gail. And, oh, Gail Singleton uh, got me the cutest little apron with... Um, Give cards to marshals, like they know me exactly. I mean, even uh, our assistant, Pastor Billy, bringing me giant jumbo junior mints. Uh. <laughs> I mean, it is like they know me. I feel so special. So I had a great birthday. They do love you. They they were mad at me because they wanted to take the service to celebrate you. Oh you know? wow! And I, I don't... felt I couldn't. I couldn't <clears throat> feel one ounce better than I did. Well, that's good. I was 100% happy. They love you. <laughs> and Gloria Dye was so Gloria, mad. She was so oh, mad at Gloria. me. I signed out in the yard. It said, happy birthday. I want to drive into the church, Pastor Amy. Oh, and flowers. I got roses. It's so sweet. She sent me a message. What are we doing to celebrate Amy's birthday? I got birthday? big balloons. I do balloons for other people, so I know that's a, that's a pain in the tail to do balloons. So, uh, so thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I mean, oh, man, I left special, a film special. Special, loved, appreciated, honored, and um, just like we were preaching about nothing missing in my life, I feel so fulfilled. That's wonderful. Mm. It was Absolutely, great. Absolutely. You're yeah. worth celebrating, Amy Bailey. Oh, thank you, We Sherry love Smith. you. She is sharing. <coughs> Jeannie Scott's on Hi, with Teresa us. Anderson. Uh, Latonya, we got your tree in. We, you're in the contest. Teresa, we got your tree in. Anderson, she's in the contest. You know, she loves you, Pastor Jay. Oh, uh, we're buddies. <laughs> we have fun together. Norma's on. I know she is helping produce this show from home today. <laughs> we are believing God. She is healed today. Her stomach feels perfect in the name of Jesus. 
We're going to have a fun day today. Hi, Esther Richards. I got a great message. Hi, I hadn't shared that with you yet from, oh, you hadn't from, from uh, Michael and Esther Richards. Lori They're, Wade. Lori Wade, I love the big snowman you gave Aunt Emily. It has made every Christmas party um, at Family Worship Center so cute that, Jim, there's a big snowman on the middle dessert table. I love him. I'm so glad you were able to give that to her. It's just, I just think every time I see that cute snowman, I think, Lori Wade is so sweet. Isn't she? Yeah, absolutely. Very thoughtful. I'm Sorry, you were saying something. You had a message. No, I'm just saying, uh, Esther Richards is on with us today. Yeah. They're, so, they're just special friends from, from a long time. They've been with us for a while. For a long, long time. Helping us preach this. God is good. And Cindy's on. She just sent you her tree, right? Yeah, we got we Cindy's, got Cindy's tree. tree in. Mm-hmm. And, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> oh, Pamela. <laughs> wrong pipe. Uh oh, wrong pipe. <laughs> you need the Heimlich gun? Yeah. yeah. do some on-air procedures here. <laughs> if you get too noisy, I felt like I just <clears throat> shoved you off the camera. <laughs> Mute your mic. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know how that happened. You better now, baby? I'm better now. Um, we, we have Cindy's tree. Okay. In. I got it to Fabio. It and it's a beautiful, a beautiful tree. That's going to be fun today to show off everybody's trees. Pamela, it's it's not too late. If you have, want to show your tree off, take a picture real it's fast. It's not too late? No. It's too late. It's not too late for the contest, <laughs> but it's not too late to show us. Okay. If you send them, to, private message them to my account, to Jay okay. Adkins' account. Okay. If you PM me in my messenger, or if you have my text number, if you text it to me, I'll get it to the team. And Norma and Fabian, we'll show all of them that we can on air yeah. that we get, <clears> and then we will uh, let uh, the team will pick a winner, and we'll see. Look at this. Up. What are all these gift cards we have well, up I here? Well, I thought we could do first place, you could go to Outback. Second place, you can order pizza when you don't feel like cooking. You, <laughs> Domino's. <laughs> that is so funny. So basically, that's, that's what, what you can. had in your purse. <laughs> oh, my yeah, gosh. Yeah. Amy no, Bailey. not. The Domino's one was. Special. This was not special. Everybody Domino's. Everybody loves Outback. Was, Everybody loves Outback. I was at Kroger last night, and I, I almost got some more Chick-fil-A, too, but I thought, I always give, <clears> Chick- I give Chick-fil-A away a lot. Think it's still good? Oh, good. yeah, absolutely. That's oh, the okay. king It's the king of gift cards. Maybe for honorable mission, mentions, I can send a, a Chick-fil-A card. Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we do have a good... And Beth Codwell's on. Good to see you, Beth. They were here Sunday morning with uh, her husband and son. Aren't they wonderful? So sweet. Luke sent me a message after church to tell you happy birthday, and he didn't get a chance to tell you personally. How sweet is Luke? That's thoughtful. What a gentleman. That's good parents. And Beth has had the best Christmas shirts this whole season. I've told her I love them all. If I was a better husband, I would relay all the messages people send me to tell you. Uh, oh, yeah, you should. It'd be nice to know. It would be part of our daily debriefing. We should do that. <laughs> she look like You should fun. ask me that every day. Uh, Wilma Walker's on. Uh, Natasha. Uh, I, I, Haskins. Hey, Haskins. Haskins. Is on. Terry Duty. You're like family to us now, Terry. We're, we're glad you're on uh, with us. Praise God. Uh, we have a great show, and we're talking about how to be a Grinch this week. Christmas. It was really fun to film it. I got so <clears> tickled <throat> filming. <laughs> you know, I'm never like, I had to be like kind of mean and like grouchy on that sick of the plan. And man, we got the views on that. We're over like 11,000 views on that How to Be a Grinch on Facebook. <laughs> so, so people were interested. <laughs> sure. Let's show you know it. You want to show it? The short, oh. the short one? Yeah, yeah, Two yeah. Minutes. Take we'll your show. time. You can flag <laughs> us down. Um, <laughs> but uh, just to get get it out, and I would get the giggles, you know, because I had to be like, like our first point is, um, you know, don't have a filter. <laughs> you can't say like, oh, don't have a filter. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be like, don't have a filter. And every one of these points that I made about, you know, really being this grouchy Grinch has actually happened in my life. You know, people will come up to you and, you know, if my hair's straighter, they'll say, you know, you look so much younger uh, with your hair curly. Or, <laughs> you know, and they're just say, I mean, praise God, that same day that someone said, you know, that to me, when I walked back, uh, there was another guy, a tech guy in the back, and he saw me straight hair and he said, oh, Amy, I thought you were a teenager. So, you know, that balanced, at least I could make it through the day. It helped, <laughs> helped you, helped you to, to cope. And then... Um, they say it takes 11 compliments to overcome one negative, though. Yeah. 
So and we know people <clears throat> without a filter, you know. Really. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, I was talking about that. And, uh, and one time I brought this cake. Well, now I'm getting famous for my nanny's recipe of the banana cake. So I, You're banana cake lady. I'm banana cake lady. It's all so, right. Uh, so when I bring in the banana cake and um, an older lady walked up to me and she said, Honey, you might not be able to cook, but you sure can bake. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably my fault <laughs> for teasing you. On your, I think so. On your crock, on your, oh, okay. on your Fabio's crock got the video. Abilities. Okay, you want to roll it? Uh, yes, if you are ready. Okay, we'll go for it. Okay. Hey, ladies. Man, the first point being, just forget that filter at home. If you try somebody's food, maybe their casserole, go ahead and tell them, that's too salty. You use too much garlic. <laughs> Somebody looks old and tired, make sure you just let that fly right out of your mouth. <laughs> Let's go. Be sure you talk about how sick you've been, how many times you've been to the doctor, how tired you feel. If someone is mentioning they've been through something, go ahead and tell them how much worse you've had it this year. As you're at family gatherings, make sure you keep on your resting Grinch face. Just go ahead and look miserable and just tired and just that you don't even want to be there, just sit in the corner with a frown. That frown will be contagious. Beauty takes time. <laughs> when you're with your family opening up the gifts, make sure you count them to ensure you had more presents than anyone else. Go around the tree and find the nicest gift and go ahead and write your name on it. Come on, it's true. While everyone's gathered around, if no one's listening to you, just get louder. Start yelling your story. Listen to me! Okay. When your family's getting ready to eat, push your way to the front and make sure you pile the food on. Get as much food as you can before anyone else can get through the line. Third of all. Get jealous of others. If someone comes in happy about their life, what's going on, just get really mad and start yelling at them. Blame it on Max, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> Be sure and let your friends and family know how good you're doing. Brag on your life, your job, your kids. Belittle their life to make you look even bigger. One second! And most importantly, just think about yourself. Don't consider anyone else this Christmas. It wasn't even my fault. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> you know, that was perfect. The way that ended was just saying, go ahead and just think about yourself. And that's our point number one today. And meaning that selfishness is so depressing. Yeah. You know, as we hit those points fast, I was so thankful to Fabian. The way he edited the clips made it so fun. And put that little Grinch in there. It just makes me laugh every time I hear <laughs> anything he says. Um, but really thinking about, think, the more I think about I, I, I and me, 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 the more depressed mm. I get when I think, oh, you know, oh, I'm not appreciated or, oh, I got so much to do. It's like I'm inviting this overwhelming feeling to come or, or nobody thinks about me or nobody helps me. Nobody's with me. I'm, and I'm all this me, me, me. I get just lower and lower and it's so draining to your joy, to your peace. It's robbing you of all the, all the spiritual gifts mm -hmm. that you have from the Holy Spirit. Selfishness is so evil and it doesn't come from God. He is, in fact, the complete opposite of selfishness. He is our ultimate giver. And, uh, and really, that's what we kind of want to expose today about how we think you can be better off by being the Grinch. He thought he could get more in the cartoon if he stole everything. He'd have all the happiness mm. and everyone else would be depressed. But it totally backfired on him. And you were even telling me about the psychological terms for this. Well, first of all, we got an amazing team on today, oh, yeah. which we do every single every time. Every time, yeah. Rick Berger watching from California, and Anna Gibson, who just sent you the most sweet oh, uh, card, yeah, card picture. with your picture of your with mother. My mother. How sweet uh -huh. was that? Even the As other a majorette. girls, uh, it was a picture of majorettes, and just nice to see everybody in that picture. I recognized my mom's friends, and and that was beautiful. And thank you for the sweet note, Anna. <laughs> 
blessed my heart and Jay's heart so good. Hi, uh, Denise. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. And Doris Coffee, so sweet. She said she loves you and the whole family. We oh, appreciate yeah. that. Okay. And uh, these guys go. You know, I mentioned to Amy, uh, I don't know this proper psychological term. I'd love to, to ask a yeah. psychologist this yeah. because we've all done it at some point, but we know people that do this constantly where you overcompensate and the desired result that you want, you know, like you want people to like you. Yeah. So you, your personality gets bigger and you're making demands and you're, and you're, you're wanting to be noticed and you're wanting, and it actually backfires Yeah, and it makes you more annoying and uh -huh. makes people like you less. Even even that example in the Stick With The Plan about when you want everyone to listen to your story, if you do get louder and more obnoxious, you know, someone with my personality, I just kind of like, oh, I shriek away like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to listen anymore. <laughs> yeah, sure. No, I understand that. It, it, but really, that person really just wanted me to hear the story. So if they, you know, could have put that, Grinchness aside right. <laughs> of yelling it, I would have been inclined to listen. So, I mean, listening is powerful. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you really want others to hear what you have to say, uh -huh. if you'll listen to them. Yeah. And I mean, listen with the intent. One of the most annoying things ever is when people- With your heart. When they interrupt you, when you're telling something so that they can talk. And you're like, hmm, <laughs> all right. And you don't mean to. You just devalue that person to where that, that gift shuts down. Mm -hmm. But to be a listener and to dig out of people truths, now their heart's open. They'll want to hear what, what you have to say. So just a little bit of patience mm. will take you from Grinch over to a, to a, to a giver. To a giver. <laughs> from, from a Grinch to a giver. I had to listen real intently while you were making that point. You're so <laughs> funny. Good night, folks. It was good to be on the I show today. When you said <laughs> Grinch would interrupt, you know, I was like, I'm going to make sure he's totally done with this, <laughs> with this point before oh I say it. <laughs> but no, like when your kids. I feel like our show is a marriage counseling <laughs> session every single week. No, when your kids are, when you're giving instructions. Yeah. And your kids to, are already saying, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. And you're like, no. Oh, I haven't said it yet. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have not said the instruction. Mm. You're agreeing to something mm. you don't know. What you're wanting, you're trying to get me to quit talking right quit now. Talk. Okay, that's like, I'm yeah. tired of listening. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay, okay, uh-huh. And I was like, I I I'm not finished. I know for you because you're a positive person um, and you require positivity. Well, I know one for you that's just annoying. You mentioned on the show when okay. people want to share all the negative things that have happened to their life, mm. it does not produce the proper result. They're wanting you to feel their pain. They're wanting you to feel and have sympathy for them. But instead, it just makes you look like a hypochondriac. <laughs> yeah. And I lost my, in fact, someone was telling me a story. This wasn't at church. This is somewhere else. So don't think <laughs> my ministry skills were bad. <laughs> but I was actually had to leave somewhere. And, um, you know, and, and this person went on into every ailment they had ever had in their life, then went into a work problem, then went back into a family and a moving city and all this, and it, and it bounced around. So, and I was like, if I don't leave in one minute, it's not that I don't care. It's like they, they, they were lost in their troubles and didn't yeah. even know, uh, you know, how long the story had been going on. And, uh, you know, and I wanted to pray for them and help them, but it took so long. I didn't get to, you know, I just had to run out the door. So, um, you know, I, I hate that for that person. Cause like you said, it was the opposite. They needed help. They wanted help, and yet got so lost in the negative, I wasn't able to give it, give them what they needed. Um, but uh, yeah, and and the Grinch just not having. Uh, I, I like the uh, laughing about the filter. We all know you can think about this. There's different characters at your family Christmas. You know that maybe there's some that's more selfish than others, and um, you can think about these different things. Maybe somebody doesn't have a filter, and you just have to laugh and and choose even before you walk into the house or the room or the party. I'm not going to be offended. They're going to say something crazy yeah. to me. They're yeah. going to say something. They're going to say my true. casserole is too salty and too much garlic. They're going to say that, but I'm not, it's not even going to bother me because I'm already prepared. Just imagine something crazy they're going to say that, you know, it's not true. It's just, <laughs> it's just, to, it's just to get you, get you going, you know, just go ahead and say, Hey, if you already make that decision, it helps me so much. Like I'll go into a place and I know they're going to say something wild and crazy to me and it's not going to bother me. And it doesn't. It's like you've already made that decision to be happy about it. 
I snanked into your shot there a few times. Sorry okay. about that. I didn't mean <laughs> no to. Fair. Put it I back like on you. Amy for I like you in my it's shot. Funny. I, yeah. So selfishness is depressing. That was our point number one. Sneak into a shot. Have you all noticed that in your life, the more you think about you, oh, man, you get so sad. If you start thinking about other people that need something or how you can help somebody else, man, it'll pick you up. You get uh, yourself, your eyes off of your problem, your situation. You get on someone else. How can I help them? And God starts speaking to you because he's the giver. He's the ultimate giver giver. He'll take your eyes off of you and your problem and really give you, there'll be joy in the giving and there'll be joy in the helping. And, and that's really the message of this message about how to be a Grinch. It's really, we're flipping it around about how to be a giver so you can experience true joy and oh man, it's such a great happiness that comes along with giving. So just like the Grinch shows up at the end of the story and he's changed, his character has been changed. He got born again. His heart was three sizes too small. <laughs> it's a story of salvation. Yeah. Receive the Lord, you know. Yeah. His heart changed, right? So he showed up and he surprised everybody in town, uh -huh. right? Because he's giving instead of taking. Yeah. I think this is the message of today. Yes, when you is. show up, yeah, show up at your family gatherings and you show up at all the get-togethers you have to go to and the parties. I know you've already been to some, but when you show up and instead of being a taker, mm -hmm. you just show up to be a giver. You help clean up. Mm -hmm. You don't criticize the food. No. You're thankful for the food that you did get, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And instead of making uh, negative, slight comments Instead about everything. She puts onions in everything. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why not go to every single person that brought a dish and hey, thank job. them for bringing the dish, uh -huh. right? To say, uh -huh. hey, thanks for making that. You make that every year. We love it. We look forward to it, right? <laughs> this is for Shannon Waters. And don't sit in the corner with your resting Grinch face. <laughs> yes. And don't sit in the corner with your resting Grinch a face. A smile goes a long way. You know, misery could be contagious, but joy is contagious. If you are um, inspiring, if you are encouraging, man, it'll change the atmosphere of the room. A couple of good comments about the food and how happy you are to see everybody, it changes the attitude. You know, it's, it's really, uh, really bringing joy to the party. You know, uh, you have a close friend, I won't name her on the show, she's so funny. And she just absolutely changed that forever for me, right? Because we had a mutual friend that had a resting Grinch face. Uh -huh. And uh, our other mutual friend said, it looks like she smelled a fart. <laughs> and uh, it just changed me. I can never say it that. It just day. changed me forever. Uh, I don't want to make that face. Because now, yeah. now every time I see that when person, and I see them multiple times a year, I think, you know, she was right. It does look like she smelled a toot, you know? And so uh, I'm like, that's, a, that's yeah. a great description. Why not just smile, right? Why not just, uh, Fabian, sorry, Fabian's got me saying all these these slang. He doesn't like talking about These slang they Spanish don't talk, words. They have, ma he's, they have he's manners got my, in, he's got my in tongue, their culture. They got don't my talk tongue about loosened up. Burps and things. That's not right. Uh, I had a. Um, one of my friend's mom, she was like a comedian in um, elementary school. And she said, we were all on a bus driving to the Columbus Zoo, I think. And she said, uh, we were all smelling something awful. Maybe chill a coffee when it smelled bad. That yes, food. it smelled. No, no, no. It was a paper factory. Pa paper factory. Yeah, it still smells bad. Well, we would drive by and all the kids <laughs> were going... Oh, that's awful. <laughs> and we were we were sucking it in to smell how bad it was. And she looked at all of us and she said, why is it when you smell a bad smell, you take it in more yeah. than you do yeah. just breathing normally? Because you don't know how to, you don't know You're how. Like, what? how. How do you half breathe? <laughs> <laughs> I must smell more than. <laughs> what is this horrible stench? Do you smell that? <laughs> you want more people <laughs> to, to really. Snuff it in. <laughs> Too funny. We want to be the life giver this Christmas, right? Sorry. We have our words, our containers of life. They're saturated with love and joy and peace. You want to be the peacemaker Amen. in the home. A soft answer turns away wrath this Christmas. Come on. You, you want to be the one that shows up with something in your heart to give out to other people. That's right. And you know how to be helpful? What else you can do? If what? you take a pocket knife with you, all the men, yeah. this is instruction yeah. to the men. Well, and the women too, you okay. have purses. Take a pocket knife with you for yeah. Christmas. Okay. And if you want to be the uncle of the year, the funkle, the fun uncle. Ooh, a knife in that little screwdriver. For the oh, the little screwdriver to put the batteries in. And why not go ahead and pick up some batteries? batteries. Just be the guy that shows oh, up with double gosh. A's and triple wow. A's. And people are like, oh, we need batteries. And the battery screwdriver. I oh, got gotcha. you. And the little gosh. battery screwdriver. Oh, my gosh. 
<laughs> this is a good tip. Christmas tip. <laughs> I'm about to do it now. I mentioned it. Oh, no it. one will thank you or Grinch uh, doing that. No, uh, Sharon Price is on. Hey, Sharon, we got your tree in the in the contest today. Uh, Kimberly Anderson's on. Um, we got, uh, I just saw Ellie uh, bowling on. Congratulations on the new baby girl that you have. And she's saying these are great tips right before you see your family. Uh, Kelly's on. Good to see you. Mallory's with us today. And T. Jay Green, a Julia Puckett viewing with us. Hey, Miss Coffee's on, Doris. Uh, she thinks Joyful should be my name. Hey, like David it. Cullen, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, Happy to have you great. on. Thank y'all for sharing this. We appreciate y'all getting this out. We we know we all need, we'll take this little tweak about how really to be givers and not the Grinch this season. We'll have some good family gathering. I think it's Jim Carrey's best role. Oh, yeah. The Grinch. The Grinch. <laughs> he nailed it. He did. He was yeah. born to play born it. Born <laughs> to play it. And we have, we have a, fr a mutual friend uh, who, who looks like a Who from Whoville. Yeah. And so um, when I, every time I'm with him, I keep thinking, man, they should cast you in the, in the uh -huh. movies, you know? Uh -huh. It's uh -huh. like his, his genetic makeup. He actually looks like a Who. Your niece, Jasmine, last Christmas bought our son, Lake, a, a Grinch costume to wear. So he put it on. And he like he, he kind of channeled that inner Jim Carrey. And he did his fingers. And, and the kids didn't know who he was at first. So it was like a really fun uh, Christmas. The kids are screaming and just jumping around. And uh, it's really cute. He's a good character. that you can take a lesson from like how not to be. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> how, how not to be. We don't want, you don't want to live your life with a heart that's two sizes too small. Yeah, and, and really, you know, like we're saying, our <clears throat> first point, just being selfishness, you know, you don't make every conversation with other people all about you and about your job. Yeah. You know, one thing I've learned from Pastor Jay is ask questions about the other person. And really, when you ask about their life, they feel your heart that you love them and you're engaged in, and, and it really will open up their heart. So any, any uh, opportunity you get to minister, they're already opened up to you because they know that you cared. You asked about their life. You've asked about their kids. You just didn't go in and say, hey, I got my new promotion. Hey, we got a new car. Hey, hey I'm awesome. Look at me. Our kids are doing great. You know, <laughs> I mean, we have people that, you know, do that, walk right in the room and, and you're like, okay, they didn't ask me one question about myself. They, they didn't ask anything about our kids or how we were doing. And uh, not that I want you to be a victim on that way. I'm just saying how to be the giver. You go right in there, ask about other people. They'll know how much you love them. I got one to add to your list. Please. You want to be the Grinch? Get in everybody else's pictures. Oh. Just squeeze yourself right in oh, there. Yeah. Uh -huh. you know, oh, you're taking a picture? Oh, oh, let me get in there. <laughs> That's so annoying. A photo bomb? Be the person that volunteers to take, take the picture. Take, take, hey, I'll be your photographer. Me, want me to take your picture for you? <laughs> I make people happy all year long doing that. You know, when we're you out do. and about in different places, oh, you, you see them trying to take you pictures. Do. Hey, you want me to take your picture? And they, they get so excited, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. And I tell them, I'm a professional. I'm yeah. an Instagram husband. I, <laughs> I am. I know I know lighting. I know placement. I know I, I can take care of this. What's that? Too funny. And, and don't worry about what you get. You know, uh, we're going to read the verse that will really sum this up in the words of Jesus. But, um, you know, I, I, we've been to parties. This was years ago. But I was somewhere where a mother counted the presence of everybody. Really? Yeah, and when her daughter didn't have as many presents as all the other kids, but they all had the same value spent on them. Just sometimes it doesn't equal out into 10 gifts for everybody. You may get six and somebody get 10, but it was the same amount of money spent, and they freaked out. It ruined their Christmas, thinking that, you know, that their, their child got, got less. Oh, my. And it wasn't true at all. So don't worry about the presents or the number. It's not about that at all. In fact, I think I should just jump to that scripture in Acts 20, uh, 35, where we have the words of Jesus there. And um, we're uh, Paul quoting him. And remember the words of our Lord Jesus. And he said, this is Acts uh, 20, verse 35, it's more blessed to give than to receive. Mm -hmm. Then there's a blessing. There's a happiness that comes when you give. Um, and it's not from the getting, the getting, 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 getting. You're just selfish, selfish, selfish. You'll, you can't satisfy the soul with gifts and material things. It just won't. You'll just feel empty. You'll go home just carrying more stuff to bring in from the car, <laughs> still feeling sad. And, and, and without this inner peace and joy we're talking about, there's a word wealth that grabs that word give right there about what Jesus was talking about. And it says, a grant 
granting, allowing, bestowing, imparting, permitting, placing offering, presenting, yielding, and paying. It implies giving an object of value freely and that is unforced. When you give and nobody's making you give, you're giving out of your heart just because you want to be a blessing to someone else. The satisfaction that comes with that, it's heavenly. It's not natural. You can't get it by doing something natural. We're talking about how the Grinch thought, oh, if I get everything, I'll feel better. No, it's really if you give and because you want to, because your heart's saying, I don't want this. I would rather for them to have this. I, I don't want to keep this back for myself. I, I want to give them more this Christmas. That the the experience, there's an experience of joy that happens in giving. Amen. There's an experience of happiness. You know, Jesus said, it's more, you'll feel more blessed. You'll feel more empowered in the giving than you do in the getting. <laughs> Go ahead and give it. Oh man, you'll feel strength from heaven. You'll feel your heart. You talk about growing three sizes larger. When you give and you realize, man, as long as I keep giving, I know who my source is. He's the ultimate giver, my heavenly father. I'm actually Acting just like him and it really satisfies your soul because you're picking up the nature of God. He's a giver. I'm a giver. He gives. So I give. Jesus said it's more blessed to give than to receive. I'm going to be just like my big brother Jesus. I'm going to give. And when you have that attitude, you can't be a victim anymore. You don't care what you got for Christmas. You don't care, you know, who acted or who said what. You're like, I came to give. I came to give encouragement. I came to give peace. I came to spread joy. I came to inspire other people. I came to give off Jesus. What did Jesus say? Let your light shine before men. You got a light to bring to the party. Not a selfish, but no, a giving life so that that men will see your it'll cause you to do good things to give what you have to bless other people and they'll give glory to God because of the good things that you do wow that's how you let your light shine <laughs> I love the it Lord. it's really it's really true and honestly it's so little about the material thing yeah um you know, different seasons of life. We've been we've been in different seasons. Where Hello, we've Pastor Stan Pote. Where hey Stan, where we've where we've had finances and been able to give really good presents to everybody there. There's so much pressure that comes at Christmas on yeah. people, yeah. especially when they have large families. How do I buy for? I don't I don't have enough for my family. How yeah. am I going to buy for everybody's family? And it's not about that. Yeah. It's not about that. If you nobody is showing up to the gatherings with a new car for everybody. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and so don't worry about where you fit on that station of life or in the family. You're in this season of life right now. Some of you guys have small kids. You're in the starting place of your life. You don't have the finances to give everybody a $300 gift. Mm -hmm. Don't try and don't feel guilty about it. And you don't even have to apologize for it. Just show up happy. Show up. Here's what I want to show. I like that. Thing. Show up happy. Show up happy. Just I'm going to write that down. Just like be it. an inspiration at the party, at the gathering, at the get together. Hey, just write that in the comments. Just show, show up, up happy. Just show I'm up happy. Write that down. Show you don't up have happy. to walk around saying, well, we had a really bad year this year. and so sorry we couldn't get more. People apologize all the time. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine who's a traveler. Yeah, sorry our gift's awful this year. <laughs> yeah, we all do it because we all want to we be able to. We want to give more. And you know, there's always that one person that had a really good year financially or maybe they do every year you know and they their gifts are better than everybody else's gifts well bless thank god for that yeah. uh, be happy that, that they're so blessed to do it but don't feel guilt and shame because no you can't yeah and you're not any less no i'm not any my there's been years where both my brothers made a lot more money than i did mm -hmm. and uh i'm not less of a brother no you know you're still in the family i'm still in the family i'll just take their good <laughs> gifts and tell them thank you i really appreciate it wish i could have got you something better than that myself but uh, uh there will be a day right mm -hmm. and so and so uh, don't really don't I, I know there's been times i didn't even want to show up to family gatherings because i didn't have the best gifts for everybody. Yeah. But there's a little bit of pride in that, you know, mm -hmm. that, that was really, it's not necessary. Mm -hmm. And uh, just show up happy. Mm -hmm. People, mm -hmm. does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Yes. I, I was thinking we have some good friends that they wrap their presents so beautiful. And uh, they'll always tease and say, yeah, um, the box looks like a million bucks, but there's not much in there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's like ornaments, a beautiful bow. And it, I mean, the box looks like, oh, yeah. there must be a treasure in there. And they always laugh and say, yeah, but there's just a little present in there. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> and we're like, we don't care. That is a beautiful presentation. Yep. Oh. We just have fun getting together. Mm -hmm. 
It is fun. I'm on Camp Presence this year. I never thought about that. Oh, no, I want to don't make sure, do that. I, I want to make sure I get as many as my brothers. <laughs> Make sure. Make sure they don't get anything better than I do. Uh, uh, and, and, and that, we really just discussed the second point today, being the happiness is in the giving. That's what Jesus told us. Just being, it's more blessed to give than to receive. You know, the happiness, the true source of your happiness, to really feel on the inside, you know, uh, uh, victorious. It really comes like from the, the nature of God, our ultimate giver. Man, He gives, He doesn't withhold anything, He wants to give. So don't be selfish. Don't go in a place or visit family just thinking about you. Go ahead and think about them. Ask the Lord. Say a prayer before you go in. Lord, help use me today. These people need to hear from you and get their life back on track for 2023. And I believe I'll be the vessel you use. Let me give them inspiration. If you pray that before you go into the house, the Lord's going to use you to minister to those. They need a word from heaven. And you're going to let your light shine. That's so good. You know what I really want to give everybody? What I want to get Janet Dow's zucchini apple bread yeah. recipe. Uh-huh. And I'd like to give I'd like to give You her, want the recipe? I want Let's the recipe. Let's hire her and pay her. To make them for me? You don't think I can I'm make them as good about as her? Me and you in the kitchen. I don't Man, know. Man, I'm telling you. That zucchini apple bread is absolutely open up a little It shop. is absolutely phenomenal. I have her strawberry preserves on my tea and toast every morning just like this morning. Man, it's I'm, I'm still I'm almost she finished with her, me with, a bunch with, of her black, with her black with her black jeans. I need to put on all my bracelets, beautiful bracelets and earrings for my birthday. Oh, they love you, don't they? Yeah. Hey, can we go to the trees? Hi, Let's mystery. Go. Good to see you. Uh, we're gonna do, hey, thanks, Stan. So kind. We're 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 going to uh, we're gonna look at some trees here. And thank you all for sending those in. It's just so much fun. I think it's fun to share with the family and to see uh, some. Won't you orchestrate that? Oh sure. Well, we'll see the first one, and I'll try. I'll bring up my notes so I can see who this one is. And Fabian, okay. if he knows, he can yell them out to us. So I'm that not sure. That looks like, is that my sister? Yeah, I recognize those curtains. That's my sister, Jenny Dallenberg's tree. Um, you know, little our little June and little niece June and little Maverick. That is their tree that Jenny sent us. It looks what was beautiful. That? So hers Here's is... me and you, hon. You love that tree. That's oh, not my church. Oh, yeah, that's our church tree. You did so good. You oh, bought... I just, that's Hobby Lobby. Just flocked a big tree is, for us. Is it. that the one you bought after Christmas because oh, yeah. it was on sale? That's our clearance. That was I remember that. Phone one. call. That was the last one. A boy's. Had. Jay, I have to get it. You don't understand. It's on sale and it's like, 75% it's off. It's tree. beautiful. It was big to get in our car. So we got that um, tree after Christmas. Here's one. This is my little sister, Faith Webbs, down in Greenwood, South Carolina. That's her Santa tree. She yeah. wanted a Christmas picture, so she found her tree. This is my brother, um, Luke Bailey and Gabrielle. That's their little son. That's our nephew, Emmett. He's about eight months old. That's their Christmas tree. Isn't Can he? Can a I call sweet him, little can Santa I call baby. Him, can I call him Harry? It's Santa. Emmett Harrison. Emmett Harrison. Look at him. Now, this is Aunt Emily. I wanted to throw her in there. She's in the red sweater. She is Mama Christmas to us. She yes. did about over probably 30 trees, maybe 50 counting Pastor Don's house. And this season, and all Man. of them are spectacular. That's just one of many. That's the candy tree. That's our good buddy, Gail Singleton, the side of her. Uh, this is, is that Sharon Price's tree? Let me get hers. Yes, Sharon Price, uh, one of our good viewers. We would Thank call her. Thank you, Sharon. A sticker. She's our sticker. She's part of the Stick with the Plan family. And uh, she's been with me in meetings before, too. So I'm glad to see Sharon with us. Wilma said she didn't put a tree up this year. Oh, well, that's okay. We got two in the church for you. Yeah. That's good enough. Yeah, are these trees here? Are your trees as well? Um, let me see. That one is our Latonya's picture. I love that because she's got a busy life, but she's like me. She still loves Christmas lights, so she had a tree in that wasn't even <laughs> a Christmas tree. Put some lights on that tree and enjoy it. I I love the lighting of Christmas lights, so I'm with you. Just put some lights up. Way to go, Latonya. Oh, this is ours. This is in our living room. Um, this is our pink and turquoise tree. Uh, right there uh, where we all gather as a family. That's the tree you put the presents in. That's our Christmas. This is our in our kitchen. This is our, this is a buffalo plaid tree basically. So if you like the red and black, like I think Sharon's was the red and black too. Her, she had pretty um, red and black. That's that tree. Okay, here's another one. I think this one is Sheila Clark's. Let me go back. Mine are a little bit out of order. 
So I just need to find um, Sheila. I thought, yeah, that's Sheila Clark's. Uh, we love Abby and her. And uh, they're still, I would still consider them in a new house, wouldn't you, hon? They're yes, fairly new. it's fairly new. Look at this. This Teresa is their second Christmas. Anderson's tree. Hi, Deanna. It is so <clears throat> cute. Let me look at hers. I'll zoom in on here. It has little doggies on it. It's red and blue and white. It is pretty. Good that job. That is cute. Good job, Teresa. Way we to go, Teresa. Oh, this, Don't you like a white tree? I like a white look tree. Look at this giant one. This is from our good friends in um, uh, Wood, uh, uh, Odie, um, I'm thinking Birmingham. Is that where uh, the church is? Jackson, Mississippi. Jackson, Mississippi. This is my good buddy in Jackson, Mississippi. This is Odie. And her, she said, I must nominate my parents' tree oh. because they cannot go. And so look how it takes it's up the whole. Yeah, it is so wonderful, Odie. This Holy is so, cow. Yeah, it is beautiful, that giant tree. Now, I think. Is that a big gold ball right in the middle? I love that. Mm -hmm. I think we went to another tree. Let me find it on here. Is this one. Oh, okay, that is this one. That is Shannon Waters' tree. Uh, look, she's got her presents around. That and, is very um, festive. Yeah, she said hey, she's got ornaments from uh, the kids on there and some uh, antique ones, just so beautiful on there. Did we already put, oh, here's uh, Sheila Wheatley's tree. Uh, they're in uh, Loretta, Kentucky. Loretto. Loretto, not, uh, sorry. Loretta, uh, Loretta, Loretto, Loretta. And she said, if you can see that little um, rocking chair, that was Keith's rocking chair when he was a baby. And her grandkids love, oh, love it so cool. much. How cool is that? Aren't these beautiful trees? They are good. Did we get Cindy's little show? You might have put Cindy's up there and I didn't get to see it, but Cindy's is beautiful with red and green I love lights that. on there. Let me make sure I got all my mentions on here. We got Odie's, uh, we got our two trees, we got trees. Uh, Sheila Clarks is so pretty. Lashana, um, uh, Faith Webbs, Emily, and my brothers and sisters, and, and Jenny's. Isn't that cute? You all did so well. We love seeing Christmas. Christmas is a great uh, big deal to us. While um, they um, calculate the votes. The votes. <laughs> The one vote. <laughs> Fabian is going to pick the winner. I'm so he is a neutral. I'm like, oh, he is a neutral. these are beautiful. Do we, make me choose. We were going to let Norma pick, but she didn't make it into the studio today. So, mm -hmm. uh, hi, Tina Marie. Good to have you on today. Well, mm -hmm. then our team just amazed. Your team is awesome. Mm -hmm. And De Deanna Justice is on. Um, Deanna's just helpful always. Hey, Pastor Gil. Good to see you. We, uh... We're 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 gonna let Fabian choose. Okay. So Fabian, just flash it up. The winner dun, da, da, dun, of the dun, most dun. beautiful. Should we do a runner up? Should we do a runner up One first? Of the two? Yeah. <laughs> oh, at the final of the okay. show. We had just a couple minutes. All right. Okay. Can I go to the testimony? Or are you too busy? Yes, no. Okay. All right. Let me go to the testimony here. And this is a financial testimony today, so we're going to leave Jay, it. Jay, why don't you read it? Because you never do the testimonies. Oh. And, I, and I, this came to you, so I feel like it's special for you. Oh, it is special for me. And so <laughs> well, I, 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 wouldn't, what you sent me. I wouldn't mind to read it at all. And uh, it's a financial testimony, so we're not going to tell you exactly who it is, that, uh, just to allow them to, uh, but it's wonderful. I'm just kidding. Wonderful, wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. God is good. He's amazing. And uh, are you still in the shop? Yeah, because usually I read it. Here, you want to sit in my chair? Oh, ooh, there you He's are. Gonna, you're gonna get me on <laughs> I was going to trade you seats. <laughs> God is good. He's amazing. Wow. And not only is he able to do exceedingly abundantly above what we ask or think, but he proves that his word is true. A couple of weeks ago, you prayed during the AM prayer for families that needed Christmas help, and I felt that feeling that is the Holy Spirit saying, help. I knew we needed Ooh, to give $500. It was like that was where the peace came. No one would know how the Holy Spirit prompted me but me. I text my husband, and uh, he said, give. I asked more or less than 500 and he said, that's it. That's the amount. And I've learned that I'm not giving in some sort of stock market investment plan, but we're trusting God will meet our needs when we're obedient. Mm. That was eight days ago. As of today, over eight days, how cool is this? We have received $9,000 unexpectedly. Ooh. What is God <laughs> more than good? Hallelujah. Or what? what a great woo, testimony woo, woo, woo. of how the kingdom of God operates. Yeah. 
Amen. And you know, they were obedient to the voice of the Holy Spirit, yeah. right? We were just praying. I wasn't even soliciting help. We're just praying in yeah. the Spirit. And uh, I began to call in finances to yeah. help families. That mm-hmm. I knew we had several families that needed serious help for Christmas. And um, they became part of the answer. Mm-hmm. Man, when you make yourself part of the answer and you just say, God, what would you have me to do, right? And that God spoke to our heart. You yeah. help do 500. Man, that's a lot of money. Yeah. Actually, when they gave that, I tried to talk them out of it. Yeah. I was like, are you sure? Now, you don't have to give that much money. Are you sure you want to do that? No, we know we want to do it. Yeah. Well, they did it, and they did it anonymously, and that family was so blessed. Thank she you. actually said, Pastor Jay, I need to write a thank you card to these people. Yes. They don't, have, they don't wow. know how much they bless me. And so, um, anyway, don't you love when, when you so... The people you sow to never have to repay. Yeah, it's God that repays, wow. and His and repayment. It's a multiplier. It's a wow. mul- it's a multiplier. So Five hundred. Eight days later, nine. Nine thousand. 9,000 an unexpected income that comes in. I mean, that's just how good God is. The ultimate gift. He's never trying to take from you. He's always trying to get, get to more you. More to you. So thank you so much for sending that testimony. And we love the testimony of the goodness of God. The best testimony to illustrate the whole message of the show was just being that um, it is more blessed to give than to receive. And when you're selfless and you give and you listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit and you're quick to obey, God's going to get more to you. If he knows you're a giver and he can get it through you, you know, you've heard it before. He can get it through you. He'll get it to you. And that's exactly what uh, this family saw this Christmas. I've had more testimonies come in about finances. We started praying and just saying this year, this year, you've heard us say that. Many people have grabbed a hold of that for their bodies and for yes. their healing. But I had one friend, I don't think she'll mind, um, Carolyn, that gave me the testimony. She had an outstanding debt with a contractor and he had never... Um, he wasn't even back. He didn't even finish the job. And yet she owed and he's still sending bills. And she's like, you finish, you know. And, and it was just bothering her because she wanted to pay. And she said that she prayed and just gave it to God. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to stress. And he sent someone to her and said, the Lord told me to pay off that contractor for you and just Shh. get him out of your Glory life so you God. can finish the project on your house. And it was needful to move on to get her house functioning. And it was so neat. The money came. She paid it off. She moved on. They sent somebody new to her. It was like God orchestrated everything perfectly. And she said, Amy, because I started saying this year. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. I Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Well, we're not going to be a Grinch. You know, before uh, we get into the contest again, I'd like for you to pray, Jay, yes. and just release this anointing. There's increase yes. upon us. When we're a giver, man, God's going to make sure you are well taken care of. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus. we ask you for your sweet spirit to stir within us the love, the joy, and the peace of heaven that everywhere we go and in front of every person we stand, Mm -hmm. Father, you will allow your light to shine through us and your love to pour forth from us. Let our words be Mm -hmm. seasoned with salt. Let it be seasoned with love and kindness. Mm -hmm. Let our voice carry that which is uh, on the inside of us, which is the wonderful, most powerful love of God. Now, Father, open doors of utterance for each one of them, that as they go into every house, as they enter into every gathering, that you'd use them as a minister Mm -hmm. to minister on your behalf and to be an inspiration to that family Mm -hmm. and to bring the knowledge of the goodness of God into that situation, Father. We ask it in Jesus' precious name. Now heal every heart, every broken brokenness, Uh every sadness that the enemy would try to bring, every memory of loss that would try to come. We speak the life of God over that now. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a season of rejoicing. It's a season of acknowledgement of Jesus in our life. Replace every sadness with joy in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And we say, Lord, that they are givers, Lord. Yes. And there's an increase to come upon them. And those financial needs, Lord, that you can quickly turn them around, they'll have peace. Yes. That you'll move on their behalf, that you are for them, Lord. Yes. So we thank you. You supply every need according to your riches and glory. We release them to increase in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Praise Glory the Lord. To God. Hallelujah. Well, this is a fun show. Right? Fun show. <laughs> Don't be a Grinch. Don't be a Grinch. <laughs> oh. oh, we got the winner of our Chris. You want to run her up, Fabio? Yes, I'm going to show the second place. Second, second place, place first. Who is it? Second place. 
Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, Cindy. That's Cindy's. Hey, Cindy Sluter oh. Server. Oh, she wow, gets a Cindy. gift card today. Woo. All right, Cindy, de definitely uh, message me your address and we'll send that right out to you. And uh, we'll get a gift. We'll get a gift card over to you. We're so thankful. How oh, cool is that? She did a good job. Tree. Well lit tree. Yeah, and well I like decorated the shape of that tree. tree. That's it. Okay, <laughs> It's Woo! Grandma's tree. It's her mama's tree. Odie's it's mama. Beautiful. Oh, Odie's going to be so happy. Oh, God. <laughs> Odie, you won. Woo. We have never met, and we are besties online. <laughs> she always says, Amy, I'm coming to one of your meetings. I said, you got a seat on the front row. <laughs> How fun will that be? We have so many mutual friends in that church. Yeah. And John David, Ramek, and us, we're like thick as thieves. We're, he's actually... Uh, we're actually related now. He's now my brother. You know, it's very appropriate that Odie should win a Christmas tree contest because she was an extra in a Hallmark movie. Oh, <laughs> we should have that scene. Can she we walks by? We gotta get that store. scene. Well, it, well, yes, I can find it probably on her. Um, on her. Did she post. message it to you? Uh, I think she posted it last year. Oh, okay. Yeah. And they had a viewing party, I think. Oh, and she that's laughed. so funny. She laughed so hard because the only scene she got in is her walking away. Oh. <laughs> she was like, didn't get a walk towards the camera. She walked away from she was, she was like, She was like the Lord when he showed himself to Moses. Only her hinder parts were viewed. Hey, she's in the movie. She's, she's in it. She's in the movie. So, um, and she went out fancy the other night and she said, well, you know, I, I, I just have to give the people what they want. <laughs> That's so funny. Whether they knew they wanted it or not. <laughs> my, my insurance agent was an extra in the movie Dreamer. Remember oh, yeah. that with Dakota Fanning uh -huh. and Kurt Russell? Uh -huh. and, uh, uh, and so he has an, an Arab look to him, his family you know, heritage. He's American, but his family heritage is Arab. You know? And so uh, they, he, they, he's sitting at the desk as, as one of the entourage for yeah. the sheik. And, uh, uh, and he said, he's, I mean, he's right there. He's in it for a good length of time, you know? And uh, I, lo I love the movie extras. It's just, oh, the, yeah. it's super cool. Oh, Mr. Cool. Decker, my art teacher in middle school, was in He's in uh, Glory. Glory. Yeah. yeah. He let us watch it. There's one scene where a bunch of soldiers roll over a hill. <laughs> he's one of those guys. He got killed. Yeah. <laughs> in the movie. Mm -hmm. And we almost got to be in Spider-Man Far From Home. We were on the set. We were on the set in Venice. On our one trip to Europe, we happened to stumble on. You went jogging. I went jogging that morning. You found the Spider-Man And there's set. all the, the actors that I went and got Amy. I said, come on, I got to show you something. So we walked back over to the movie set. We walked by BJ Smoove and all those, all those that. We walked right on the bridge with those actors, you know, some of them. And... Um, and so uh, I noticed these extras were getting ready to do something. I told Amy, let's go stand by them. We'll get in the movie. I was just trying to find Zendaya for summer. Yeah, we couldn't <laughs> find Zendaya. And so we're standing beside, we're standing beside all these guys. They got backpacks on. They're all, they're all like college age looking people, you know. And so we're standing by and the little makeup artist comes by and puts the makeup on them. And we're standing right there and I'm, I'm just going to do whatever they do. You know, I'm hoping uh -huh. to get in the movie. Uh -huh. And the little makeup artist starts to touch up Amy and she looks and she goes, um, are you in the movie? And Amy, she couldn't lie. I can't. She said, no. She and, asked me if I'd sign the papers. Oh, or something. man. And I was like, no, I didn't sign the papers. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not going to go to hell to be an extra. <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man movie <laughs> to be in the movie. Oh I said, no! And uh, but we were right there. We actually got to so we walk watched, through the set. Yeah, we watched. And uh, I left my phone camera on, mm -hmm. and it's just yeah. us walking through because you weren't allowed to take pictures. But I just like held the camera out, and so we walked through. They blow up the gondola, flies uh, over top of where we were standing, and uh, all this water comes out, and it, it was really cool. It would have been so cool to be uh, to watch that movie, not tell our kids, kids. you know, and then go to the theater and watch. It and be like, and have our face be like, hey, ah, hearing that scene. There we are, right there. <laughs> so it was really sad because when we when we got home and told our kids about being on the movie set, their first question was, "Did you meet Tom Holland?" No. no we tried. Did you meet Zendaya? No. no. They weren't interested. Then they didn't care. No, they they, that's like, oh, all they well, wanted. Then. <clears throat> What's the big deal? What's the big deal? I thought you had some good news to share with you. <laughs> we met all the bad guys. <laughs> too, too funny. Too, what a great show today. Have fun at Christmas gatherings the rest of this oh, Cindy season. Cindy says thanks so much. Oh, She's isn't glad. Cindy great? Yeah. Oh, and, and Shannon said that was her pick too. So beautiful. Oh, wow. Great, great fun.
Amy, mm-hmm. you're a lot of fun. Oh, Thanks for you. being our fun and not being a Grinch. Wow. We all love you. We, oh, think, yeah. we think you're amazing and mm-hmm. you help us all just to remember the joy of the Lord is our strength and joy is a choice. It is. And it's a lifestyle and it brings us into victory. Yeah. So thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, we have so much vision for 2023. You won't want to miss the next live. I mean, we're going to have film a great uh, Christmassy stick with the plan, but it's really going to launch us into uh, a great season of, of singing, of speaking, of really, uh, I'm calling it singing today, that we can see it, speak it, and sing it, and it's going to come to pass. So the Lord's setting us up for a great year. So just be encouraged, and uh, I can't even wait for the next live show. I really think we're going to cast vision uh, for the whole next year. So so get ready, get ready, get ready. God's got good things in store. We won't see you till uh, right after Christmas now. Our next show will be after well, Christmas. Well, the, the stick of the plane will come out Thursday. Yeah. Thursday, watch it, share it, help me get it out again. Y'all did awesome last week, man. The ratings went shoo, through the roof. New expectations. So, new expectations for a new year. So uh, thank you all for being our partners. We love your partners in getting this gospel out. We're so thankful. Whatever we're a part of, you're a part of too. You're on the team. And we love you. We pray for you. You need us. You message us. We'll be lifting you up. Have a Merry Christmas. We'll be live again Tuesday. We'll see you.